Women who have experienced abortion often feel a lot of shame. And if someone shares with you that they have had an abortion, here are some suggestions for how you can respond. In 1991, a woman was about to walk into a downtown LA abortion clinic with her then husband by her side. He was walking alongside, telling her it was the best option for both of them. She had aborted twice before and thought the third time would be just as easy and painless. It was a solution to the obstacle that kept her from becoming a lawyer and living the life that she dreamed for herself. The woman then walked into the abortion clinic, but as she sat down, she felt a wave of light. Her logic and truth made it clear. She was pregnant with a 12-week-old fetus and she was the only one who could fight for her at the time. Her baby was not a blob of cells, but a human being in development. The woman felt a surge of courage overcome her, and she ran away, barefoot until she couldn't look back anymore. This woman was my mom, and I am that baby. I'm Kiki with The Culture Project, and I've been sharing that story for a long time, but until recently, there was one small difference. This last year, my mom told me she had two abortions and not just one. She told me that for years, she couldn't bring herself to tell me about the first one because how deeply ashamed she felt. I hugged my mom and I told her she was brave for being vulnerable with me and dismantling the walls of shame. She was not alone. Women who have experienced abortion often feel a lot of shame. And if someone shares with you that they have had an abortion, here are some suggestions for how you can respond. First, affirm that she is good. To be clear, I'm not suggesting that abortion itself was good or that the decision was good, but mercy is so real. Remind her that she was created good and she will always be good. Far too often, women feel such shame and guilt for their experience of abortion that they believe themselves to be beyond God's mercy and healing. But the truth is, we can help them see that they are the sum of the Father's love for them and not anything else. Secondly, ask her what she needs from you. Does she wish for you to just listen to her? Does she wish for you to help her find resources for her post-abortive healing? HopeAfterAbortion.com is a great resource for just that. And finally, remind her she is not alone on this journey. The reality is women who experience abortion will always be healing and different experiences in their lives will bring back emotions, memories, or questions, but you can be a constant for her. And above all, God's mercy and healing is the constant. Remind her of that. Forgiveness is freeing. Forgiveness is something God wants to give all of us so we can live in the truth of who we are. Our identity as sons and daughters of God is unshakable. Forgiving ourselves and forgiving others is a process. Be not afraid. God is ready to embrace you in that.